Hello, welcome back to my channel. There is something about autumn or a new season that just makes you want to declutter and clean. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this week's video. So in this week's video, I tackled an outdoor area. I had a cluttered kind of backyard. And I also tackled my wardrobes, which was kind of hard. Obviously, I'd be embarrassed to show you the clutter, but from my other decluttering videos, I know you guys get like value from it. And it's kind of nice to see that like houses, they're not all perfect in what you see on Instagram. Yeah, they're pretty, but you open a door and there's loads of clutter, so don't feel bad if you're like me too. So let's get straight into it, and here is my decluttering. So let's start with the garden because I've got some bits and bobs that need to go to the recycling. I have all bits of furniture. Oh, it's bad outside. And every time I go out to the wheelie bin to put rubbish out, I'm like, oh, I just want to tidy that and sweep it and make it nice. And because it's autumn, all the leaves are falling. It looks like a riot. I want to tackle this first. And I've got a beautiful autumn day. It's like one of them cold, crisp mornings. So I thought we could start there. It's like that's kind of the pretty area and then you come here so this all I want to recycle this um, I don't use it it's gathering junk and Pepsi has successfully managed to wear away the side of it so this can be chopped up I've got some random pots I need to put in order yeah a bucket of like what would we call this blondie soil that has grown in the bucket I won't be throwing that pallet out because we know I like that pallet but that will be on somewhere tidy so basically this whole section is going and then over here I've got some wheelie bins which is like yuck but random bubble wrap that has to go this has to go let on an and push these here, make them tidy and sweep up this like whole area. I was going to clean my windows seeing as I was outside already so I'm just simply topping up my water vinegar solution I use this when I'm cleaning glass you can also use it just as a general wipe down cleaner I'm literally just using some white vinegar half vinegar half water and then I'm popping in about 10 drops of lemon essential oils be very careful with essential oils and cats and make sure you only use this on the likes of windows where it's not going to be near your pets
so this is all I'm keeping of all of the things so and obviously you can probably see why first of all that bike wheel similar to this bike wheel that's going to be getting maybe a little Christmas makeover plank of wood because you never know when I'll need a plank of wood this I won't keep this because yeah <laughs> and palettes. I actually have a use for this one. Um, I'm hoping to make something for the guest bedroom with this palette, the wood from it. So this is all I'm keeping from my stash and I'm feeling good. Everything is decluttered and looks tidy. I've actually got pieces of furniture I want to bring to the recycle center or some of them I might, I might try and sell one but so I've got this chest of drawers that if you watch my office makeover, um, this no longer fits. So and this is going to leave. Don't know whether I'm going to recycle, bring it to the recycle center or give it away for free. Then I have this mirror over here, but I might keep the mirror because I have some paint on order. This headboard is going to get painted. And I'm going to change things up here. But as you can see in this room, there's no floor space. And obviously my bike isn't going to stay here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Gives me some floor space. I'm going to do maybe some shelving here. Paint the headboard. Change this up. Make this a bit more warmer and less white. And I'll decide on this one. Glandy, did you get tired? <laughs> do you not want to help me no more? Okay, you can have your nap in your basket. Okay, so I've started. I've got pause hangers, wardrobes open, and we're gonna tackle this. So this wardrobe, I like to keep jackets and occasion dresses. So I've just taken a few things out of this. So this is like proper party kind of, only wear these dresses like every once in a while. And then some jackets. This one is every day, and let's look at the bottom. Uh oh! <laughs> yes, this all needs to be sorted. And here is just like more stuff, but the problem is none of this can go anywhere. So that's when I know, okay, no, I need to make room, let this breathe, hang a lot of this. I think what happened was autumn just happened and I needed to take out some autumn clothes but I had no space to I don't know what happened but let's fix it Christmas jumper this will definitely be getting kept so I'm finally starting to see the floor which is good and I've just been off daydreaming to myself as you declutter because it's kind of therapeutic. Um, but I have been this year trying, no I have, I've not been trying, I have. Um, just completely buying less. And a lot of this stuff I have here is like three, four, five, probably longer. Um, and thankfully most of the stuff is. <laughs> but I have been trying to kind of buy less. So I, with the intention to not have to declutter all of the time um, because fast fashion is an issue. So I pick things that are like classic all the time, hence all of the dresses. So I have one pile of, oh there's a bra as well, I have one pile of donation which I think is quite good um, and it's nice stuff as well, it's cute dresses. I, I am being ruthless, I'm like even if I like it, if I haven't worn it, it's going. So, I'm starting to see the ground. So there is my bag for charity and in here the clutter is gone from the bottom, we can see the bottom. Some dresses have some hangers. There's probably actually still too much here, but I was like, oh, I still like all of these. So they're there for now, but we could probably thin these out again. And then this one is all organized. I just have these two dresses to put back in. So I've got the coats and I have occasion dresses. Yeah, these ones are just like pretty to look at. 
um, I should probably sell some of these on. Um, but for now, they're just there. This one I think is my favourite. I just think that one is so pretty. So I'm getting tired now. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Um, I need to actually thin out furniture in this room because just under this window, I really want to make... I've nowhere to blow dry my hair, put my makeup on. I do it at the kitchen table. And I want to hear... I have this, hang on. I have this here, but it's not serving any purpose. So I'm going to, I want to make myself a desk um, for this area. When I'll do it, I do not know. But I want to make myself a little desk so I can sit down and do my makeup. I'm not like my office desk or, you know, I want like somewhere that I can have makeup hair. And that's here because right now I'm sitting on the floor at the little coffee table doing my makeup um, but that means I have to tin out so I'm getting rid of this chair because all this chair ever does is gather dust not dust clothes this is the clothes chair so I'm gonna get rid of this I think I may sell on my monk's bench even though I really like it or I can put the monk's bench in the ensuite um, so I also have to bear in mind that the Christmas tree that's under my bed will need to go in that corner soon enough and that cabinet will have to move over. So yeah, but anyway, this chair is gone. So that's two pieces of furniture after bringing the recycle center and my bag of clothes. So this is what I am getting rid of. One bag of clothes, I'm gonna bring this up to the charity shop now. And then these two I'm gonna give away for free. This one has lots of damage to the fabric. So if they won't take it, I'll bring it to the recycling center. Do you ever feel when you declutter that if it does not leave the house on the same day, you haven't decluttered? You've just moved it around. So I am putting this straight into my car. Well, I'm gonna to have to take the roof down. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm bringing these out like to charity shops they are going now I am not coming home with these um, because then I'll feel like the energy is gone it's out so I'm feeling quite good after that declutter now I still have a Monica press on top of my stair area there's like a, a little unit with shelves and it's full of stuff but the stuff that's in it it's not it's all for like donate it's not like stuff to go to the recycle center it's stuff for charity shops it's like books and decor items i also want to sort through and organize my christmas items a lot of them are up in the attic um, and I want to sort through and see is there stuff that I could thin out there as well because I am going Christmas shopping with Karen soon um, I'm not going to be buying loads but I need to balance oh hey Blondie, I, I didn't see her there I need to balance um, what I have so I need to get some old stuff out to allow space for the new stuff to come in before I go I want to say a massive thank you oh my god the comments on last week's Bob Ross video, I could not keep up with them. I was just hearting them all. I was so filled with joy that you girls got such a giggle from that video because like at the end of the day, if you can't have a laugh, like the comments were so nice and if it made your day in any shape or form, um, I really appreciate the shares, the comments, the likes. You guys um, are the bestest dainty fam. So I really appreciate that. So that is me and a blondie for this week. Also, tomorrow is November. Can you believe that? Happy freaking November. Where has the year gone? Is it just a thing with getting older that the years fly? 
Um, yeah, happy November. Um, cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you all in next week's video. Bye.